been working on converting it to methanol. Y'all just saw the video where I did the tune up in the computer. So just a few more things and we're gonna see if it works up. We're gonna try to get that thing fired up tonight. He looks like he just busted out of the jail. Fuel pump is mounted down there. Belt drive, that was one of the things I had to do. He's got all this stuff done up. He's got this pipe off just making room. So the only other thing, there's Brian over there. We got to shorten this fuel cell. So Brian cut it all out, so I'm about to weld it up. We just had to cut a couple inches out of it. So it's gonna be about two and a half gallons when it's all said and done. Ryan in this race car, let me show you real fast on this. Brian built a stainless steel wing. Dude, that turned out phenomenal. And that thing really turned out good. I mean, wow. Brian, you building any more stainless steel ones? No, no, no. He said it was kind of a pain in the butt to bend and cut, but man, it turned out phenomenal. I mean, it's freaking great. Okay, so back on Chris's, we're gonna get his cranked up. Brian's just still working on his, unfortunately, trying to paint it. Getting closer. Did you decide on your color? Black. It's gonna be black. Well, that'll look good. Black, I don't know. Yeah. It is not gonna look as good as it did, <laughs> in my opinion. Okay, so we got this thing welded up. Once again, my welding skills suck, but it's okay. Uh, this thing was, uh, it was three inches too tall, two and a half inches too tall. There's a three gallon cell, so he cut off about three, three inches or so. So that's about a quarter of a gallon per inch according to our fuzzy math. And, and now it fits. This is, so this is the way it's going to mount down in there. And see it's got really co close clearance, so he's gonna have to pull it up a little bit like this but then it'll be fine. So we got it there. So this thing, I'm thinking to put the tune up in it while he is finishing this stuff. Let's try to get this thing cranked up in a minute. Let's we'll see if it how works. much more room and how much less weight he's got by taking that uh, intercooler off. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so now we're gonna transfer my methanol tune to his EFI system. So one of the things is very, very simple to do, but there again, just pay attention. If you hit download from ECU, that's gonna pull the gasoline file from here. So first thing we wanna do is open the global file and you can see down here, Chris Moore methanol. So let's go right here, do all this. Now I'm on my tune that I created last night. So now you hit the, the synchronized the USB link and you're gonna see all these things that are, are changed. So the global file is different. It's gonna have a different name. The fuel's different, the system's different, and the boost is different, and the advance is different. So all that failed. So if I say get from ECU, then that means it's gonna overwrite my tune. So you do not wanna hit that one. You wanna hit send to ECU. So now it's gonna do this little synchronization. So it is syncing, and now, this methanol tune is in his EFI system. So I'm gonna hit save. So just that simple. And we'll hook his computer up. And on his computer, I'll show you what to do on it. Okay, so we got Chris's computer now. I got it hooked up to the Holly EFI. So now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hit download from ECU. And the reason I'm downloading it from the ECU is so that I can save it. And so now he'll have both tunes in his computer. So here we go. So now we got it. 
So I'm gonna hit the USB link just to go online, which that's not absolutely necessary at this point. And I'm gonna hit save. So then you go over to global files. And you see right there, that reboot is the gas. This is gas tune up. So we'll, we'll go through and change that shortly. So save. So now he's got the methanol tune in his computer. So when he comes over here and he's at home, hit global file. And there you go. That's his gas file and that's the methanol file. So there we go. Okay, so we're going to try to crank this thing in a minute. He's almost almost ready. All they got to do is finishing up the couple little things up here. So we got to put the fuel cell in. So once he gets the fuel cell, he's going to mount it over here somewhere on this side. And he's got his lines done. So we are ready to go. All right, let's get that thing mounted real fast. Fuel cell is mounted. He's got a couple more spots to put on it. We did end up moving. You see we got caps over here. Uh, two caps, we ended up putting it under the very, very bottom. Once again, I have a sucky weld, but that's okay. It shouldn't leak. We will find out in a minute. Looks nice. And now you notice this is a belt drive fuel pump, so you can't just turn the fuel pump on and have it prime up. So with it being belt drive, the fuel cell is higher than the pump. The pump is way down there in the bottom, so it's going to gravity feed to the pump. What we always do the first time is we've got this still a little bit loose, so it doesn't air lock it. And we'll just turn it over a few times till we get a little bit of fuel there, and then that should make it crank a little easier. That's kind of warm in here, so we'll probably try to crank it. The fuel, we'll see if the starting table is close. I don't know if it is or not. We'll try to crank it without brake clean first. We'll probably end up with brake clean, just like all of ours. prime the fuel pump real fast so all he's going to do right now is ignition is going to be off and we're just going to turn the, just turn the motor over until I tell you to stop okay okay let's tighten that up so that's prime the fuel system So now we got fuel in the lines. Okay. You got any brake clean? I got the brake clean it to start with. Yes. Crack the throttle blade just a hair. Start it. no oil pressure he says unplug so we're gonna plug it up just make sure we're good yeah well, i remember when you unplugged it actually yeah there you go well fired up on brake clean so that's good we probably need to do a little bit of work on the on the tune-up for the start which that's perfectly fine we'll see if it cranks up again here now it's got some fruit fuel it's got fuel flow don't you love the methanol already you have to change oil more frequently just tell her not to be in the trailer with you when it when it fires up. That was idling about 4.7 air fuel ratio, so that was it's pretty good. We might be able to lean it out some. Man, that's totally different from C16. Oh yeah. Okay. It's brutal on your on your lungs. Yeah. Turn your ignition on first and let me get back live. Right. 
Did you question my ability to get it to methanol? No. I'm requesting my luck. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, try to crank it. See if it cranks up. All right, we got fire in the hole. Good job, Brian and Chris, and that thing cranks right up when it's warm. We do, we're about to have to be done for the night. They found a little bit of a leak when uh, one of these injector O-rings got uh, torn when it got pushed in the rail, which is kind of common, it happens frequently. So we're done for the night, but it cranks up. We got a little bit of tuning to do on it uh, to make it so that the air fuel ratio is exactly where it needs, which will get it in learn mode and closed loop. And then we'll be set. So she's about ready to dance and know where to go as well. Yeah, everything, all the rest of these every, <laughs> everything else is, we got everything running. We got to finish the front end on that one. I'll say that's, there ain't much yeah, left to do with that one either. All right, so. I would say this is a successful evening and it's not super duper late. I'll be home before tomorrow. So the wife will be very happy. Just a little bit of tuning at the track. It should come up on trans brake fine. Once it does, they had to uh, lower the fuel pressure down a little bit. Fuel pressure was about 95 PSI when we first got it. That pump is moving some fuel. So that's good. Now it's at 85, that's where it should be. Carl. Maintaining our social distancing. Having a blast hanging out with friends and family. Six feet apart. Six feet apart. The methanol is killing everything. That's probably the methanol best. Methanol kills Corolla. The, the, that is guaranteed the best disinfectant on hard surfaces. I can guarantee you that. All right, guys. Y'all take care. See y'all soon. Comment, like, and subscribe. Appreciate it. Bye.